philosophy. Here is a simple device but highly interesting which demonstrates how various objects fall under gravity. It consists of two wooden arms approximately four feet in length and at one end they are joined by a hinge and the other end it has a small cup to hold a ball and a small glass nearby. Now I'm going to set up the equipment which is kept at an incline and a small wooden bar is kept here to hold it in the inclined form. A glass ball is gently kept in the cup. Now the equipment is ready. I will remove the supporting bar and we will watch the fall of the ball. The ball apparently has moved from the cup sideways to the glass and has entered the glass whose rims were higher than the ball. Which looks very surprising. How can a falling object, two falling object, one object which is lower than the other can fall into it? If you observe the slow motion presentation of this experiment, you see that the ball which is unattached or unconstrained by any means falls freely and in a straight line. While the cup which is, which is attached to the arm of that uh, wooden arm moves in a circular path and at a much faster rate. Though everything is falling under gravity, but only the unconstrained portions will fall freely under an acceleration of g. The constrained portions, if you observe from the hinge to the end, other end, fast, slower or faster according to their position and constraint. Thank you.